on the 21st day of October, Halloween gave to me 21 wieners stretching, 20 zombies climbing, 19 Richards cheesing, 18 undead trains, 17 morticians regaling, 16 Vincent's cracking, 15 Lee's counting, 14 brides abiding, 13 Carfax Abbeys, 12 fathers stripping, 11 au pairs drowning, 10 children creeping, 9 Roddy seizing, 8 snowy mazes, 7 bacons digging, 6 doorways bending, 5 children yowling, 4 zombie bulls, 3 haunted mirrors, 2 monster houses, and a fog that makes it hard to see. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween here on Legion Podcasts. Uh, we are on the 21st of October, or 21st film, uh, to go along with it. And uh, as we have been going through some of these zombie movies, I wanted to grab a recent favorite of mine that's not... And th this kind of falls into that Dawn of the Dead category of, this isn't high-minded at all, we're not trying to you know, point out the foibles of society with this movie. But The Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, the movie was actually, and I only realized this on uh, this viewing, uh, that this movie was written and uh, directed, or co-written and directed, by Christopher Landon, who did all of those uh, Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You movies, which makes a ton of sense because I find that this is of that stripe. It is um, a little bit cheeky with the material, but it also sort of loves what it's doing. Uh, and I like a movie like that. I like a movie that's having some goofy fun. Um, and the whole premise is naturally that there are uh, these three kids who are getting a little bit older. One of them named Augie. Um, is naturally uh, the kid that everybody picks on, uh, kind of the chubby kid, uh, but is really into being in the Scouts. Obviously not called Boy Scouts here. They're American Scouts or something like that due to uh, copyright. But uh, he's in the Scouts, and his two buddies have kind of stayed in the Scouts with him. And after he lost his father a couple of years before, it was like, well, we can't quit on the guy. And so where we begin the film is with our heroes debating whether or not they're going to finally tell their friend Augie that they're going to quit the scouts. Uh, of course, a zombie apocalypse gets in the way of that, and uh, they all have to come together again using the the power of the scouts uh, to, to fight the zombie horde. And I got to tell you, man, this movie is a shit ton of fun. Um, it, Ty Sheridan, who would later go on to be in that uh, Ready Player One uh, Spielberg film, uh, is very good in the lead here as uh, as Ben. Um, Sarah Dumont plays a cocktail waitress at the local strip club who turns out to be a bit of a badass, uh, and she's great in it. David Koechner shows up as their scout leader, and he's fine. You know, he's having a good time. And it's just, uh, it, it's a, a, a super amount of fun. And the thing that I really uh, reacted to when I watched it again, I was like, man, is this the movie that had that dick joke in it? And it was. There is a dick joke in this movie that is in the top five dick jokes of all time as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so if that's not enough to recommend this movie to you, I just don't know what is. Um, but yeah, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is, it's, it's kind of good-natured and sweet in a way that is... Uh, real, I, it's something I really enjoy in a horror movie when it can get away with it. Like I, I like a movie that has teeth and is kind of nasty and so forth. But I also like a movie that's just there to have a good time. And this movie is most certainly uh, one of the latter category. It is, uh, it's got some charming acting in it. Um, I will say that one of the kids is sort of the Weisenheimer <laughs> of the group. Uh, a, a kid named uh, Carter, uh, as played by Logan Miller. Um, who would go on to be in escape room and whatnot. And um, I find him to be a little tiring in the movie. And I gotta be fair about this. A lot of this is the writing. Like he's that snarky character that's always talking about getting laid and that kind of thing. And 
my tolerance for that type of character is pretty thin. I think Logan Miller is mostly fine in the role. I don't think that um, he's... Uh, he, like, I, I don't think that he is the problem. I think it is just that uh, some of this writing is uh, a little bit sophomoric, but that's also the kind of movie it is. Like, it, see before about the dick joke, which I think is fantastic. So it's a mixed bag, you know, like you're going to get some genius dick jokes and you're also going to get some, uh, some tired lines to go along with it. But, um, yeah, Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is a, a, a very solid entry into this list. I had a blast watching it. Um, you know, as I've, I've said about many of these movies, it's a nice quick 90 minute runtime. And I dig that. I like a movie that kind of gets in and gets out. Also, also, I noticed uh, as I was watching Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, the second film on our les list this year that featured a zombie deer. So, I don't know what that says. Uh, that was unintentional, but, you know, serendipity is what it is. So, look, I'm not going to uh, harp over long about this other than to say I really just have a ball with this movie. I think you will, too. Uh, so, if you've never seen Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse... Uh, this has the bow stamp of approval that says, hey, this isn't just another dumb zombie movie. This is pretty good. Uh, you could back this up with uh, the movie Little Monsters and have yourselves a, a, a good double header of zombie comedy fun. So um, that's it for now. Uh, that is it for Wednesday, October the 21st. Uh, hard to believe that we are here already, but here we are. So uh, have yourselves a great Wednesday. Have a spooky Wednesday. And uh, I'll be back here tomorrow to talk about yet another film, uh, kind of rounding out our zombie uh, series uh, starting tomorrow. So, um, guys, have a great one. I will talk to you tomorrow with more of the 31 Days of Halloween here on Legion Podcast. See you then. Bye.